Hello everyone, welcome to EverydayHDR.com. I am Blake Rudis and today I'm going to talk a little bit about how to further your noise reduction using a kind of uncommon tool. Um, and a lot of might call it an amateur tool, but it works great in a pinch for this high dynamic noise that you run into when you start compiling multiple brackets in high ISO ranges. Um, if you can imagine the amount of noise that's in one bracketed image with the high ISO, take that and multiply it times five in this image's case. That noise gets so compacted that it starts to appear as if it is part of the image. And you'll see what I'm getting at in a second here. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the background layer by pressing Control J. I've already done several steps here. I'm in the middle of my workflow. Just thought I'd give you a little, little shot. Um, this is what it looked like straight out of Photomatix. Um, mildly tone mapped, nothing outrageous because I like to do all that stuff in Photoshop. And just enough to get me, you know, to that next level. So I'm in the middle of my post processing and I realize I need some noise reduction because when I zoom in, bam, I got some noise, right? So I'm going to go ahead and use Topaz Denoise 5. That is my preferred method for noise reduction. All right. So there are all these settings on the left hand side. These presets are actually really great for noise reduction. I prefer JPEG moderate, even if I'm working with a raw image or a TIFF file. Um, sometimes I'll do JPEG strong, but sometimes it's too strong for the image I'm working on and I start to lose detail. Um, you can see that Topaz does a great job though of handling noise without um, destroying the detail within your image. So I'm going to go and go with uh, JPEG moderate because it's not as Oh, as abrasive as the JPEG strong. Now, while it's running through its process, the, there are many different ways that you can do your noise reduction, and I've used several ways to reduce noise in HDR, especially like the high dynamic noise, I like to call it, and there's no tried and true method that can get rid of these high dynamic noise areas where it's these pixels that have been compacted so tight that they become part of the image. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about in about 1% and after this banner is gone. So let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit and zoom around. So I'm going to deselect that area and reselect that area so you can see the amount of noise reduction that happened in these areas that would have been highly concentrated noise. But how does it affect areas of extremely high concentrated noise like what we've gone through with the tone mapping process? It makes no change because it looks at those areas as if they are part of the image. They've become so compact, uh, that noise becomes so compact that it appears as if it's part of the image. So the algorithms skip over these areas, assuming that they're part of the image. So there's a couple ways you can fix this. The way that I prefer in a pinch is to use the blur tool. It's found right in here with the sharpen and smudge tool. It's the blur tool. Give it a setting of no more than about 40%. 41 that's fine so then I'm gonna start painting in on this with that blur tool and it's gonna start blending those highly concentrated noise areas but not destroying them so much that they appear as if they are completely smooth they still blend in very well with the rest of the image they just don't pop out as high concentrated noise areas and you can start to take a look all over the image that was my cat. He's weird. He makes like weird murloc noises. I don't know if anybody ever played Warcraft. Yeah, see? Murloc. So <clears throat> go ahead and paint in on those areas of highly concentrated noise with the blur tool. Stupid cat. And you can do this throughout the entire image. I'm going to save you from that, but I did want to show you that there are ways to get past areas that do not get noise reduced in your noise reduction process. It happens all the time in HDR. You're going to see it all the time the more you start doing it, especially right here. Bam, this is a perfect one. It did ab That noise reduction did absolutely nothing. You can see as I click on and off, it did absolutely nothing. But we can go to that blur tool and we can start to blend those areas in with the blur tool. And we aren't reducing, we aren't destroying the detail that much. I mean, we're de anytime you do any noise reduction, you're going to be losing detail. But in this case, it's pixels that are distracting you from the image rather than helping you move along the image. So that's uh, 
noise reduction in a nutshell using the blur tool as selective noise reduction. Uh, again, don't take this uh, as a 100% fix all method for noise reduction, but it does a great job. Uh, use it liberally and don't go overboard with it because you don't want extremely smoothed out areas and lost detail. Alright, that's everydayhdr.com. I'm Blake Rudis. If you have any questions about anything, please feel free to email me at everydayhdr at gmail.com. Have a great weekend, everyone.